Kat and Neva with your daily dose of all things entertaining from Asia to Hollywood. And last night was a huge night for Hollywood. It was the Golden Globes. There was a lot of beauty, glamour. And joining us today is executive producer, TV personality, and creator of Pop Stop TV, Gigi Yang. What Welcome. Up, <laughs> all right, thank you so much for having me. I'm sure you, like me and all our viewers there, yes. we were glued to the Golden Carpet right? last night. What did you think? It was kind of boring, actually. Yeah. Yeah, but before we get to your top picks, mm -hmm. let's talk about the trends last night. Because yeah. I thought there was a lot of hourglass dresses, which I love because it just shows off all the women's curves. <laughs> what yeah, else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, listen, in Hollywood, if you have it, you got to work it. Love the hourglass. And yeah. I noticed that a lot of celebrities are going the nude route when uh -huh. it comes to coloring. Yeah. They love light colors, like light pink, nude. I loved it. <laughs> and red. We saw red. a lot of bold red on the red carpet, too. Yeah. I don't like a lot of light colors. I love bold blues uh -huh. and reds. That's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got to agree with you. And, you know, we've had a lot of misses, and we also yeah. had a lot of best dress. <laughs> now, let's talk about the best dress. <laughs> yeah. Who are your top picks? In my opinion, uh -huh. number one best dress is Charlize Theron. I oh, absolutely love yes. what she was wearing. Yeah. yeah, she wore this gorgeous Dior gown, mm -hmm. and I thought it was more like a Dior commercial. <laughs> she walked down the car bed, everyone, I mean, oh my gosh, all the cameras went crazy, all the fans she were screaming. She looked like a queen. She did. And she had that beautiful 1920s um, headband that was going yeah. on. Yeah, very beautiful. I was like, I would have never thought to match the headpiece with the dress, because exactly. I kind of gave mine up in grade school, but apparently <laughs> it worked out so well. And her top was sexy, it was low cut, low and cut. she showed off a little bit of the leg too. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Charlize was definitely classic. I mean, I just want to like be able to save up yeah. all my money and buy some Dior. <laughs> now, number two, who was the top dressed? Number two, gotta give it to my girl, Sofia Vergara. Uh, oh I my goodness. love her. She always looks good. <laughs> she does, and she just works a va va boom yeah. look so well. And she wore that teal color, which I thought was just great for her skin color. Yeah, she absolutely stood out. Every single one of my male friends are like, ooh, I love Sofia, I love Sofia, and all the girls want to be her. Let's let's just move on. <laughs> and oh, she also night. she also wore uh, what five million dollars worth of jewels. I think it was. Yeah, Harry she Winston. had so many bodyguards yeah. around her. Like when I saw her at the after parties, she was. I mean, they were like swarming around her. Like, probably, do you blame them? Yeah, probably trying to pick up like the blades that she dropped yeah. on the carpet. <laughs> exactly. Now let's move on. Who else? <laughs> okay. Evan Rachel Wood. I... Now this one's a little unexpected because yeah. I didn't know she was actually gonna wear a dress so edgy. What do you yeah. think about the dress? I loved it. I mean, I thought it was a mix of mermaid and peacock mm -hmm. and she just did it really well. She, she did. Elegant. She meshed it so yeah. well. And she had her hair in like an elegant updo. It was a right blend of edgy and sex appeal. Yep. Yeah, totally I'm like, agree. <clears throat> Madonna. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> did you see her dress? I'm sorry, yeah, Madonna. Madonna, but Madonna no. It wasn't the right mix. Yeah, <laughs> no. Evan Rachel Wood was good, yeah. And, um, um, Zoe De Chanel. Okay. What do you think about that one? Um, when I first saw it, I thought it reminded me of a video game. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, I wasn't impressed. All right, Kat, you know what? We can't be friends. I'm not going to treat you anymore, and I'm not going to take your phone calls anymore. We no, can't be friends. But you tell me why you liked it. <laughs> It's one of those dresses that uh -huh. look better on the red carpet okay. than in photos. Okay, That's I all I have that. to say. Because when I saw her at the after party, like mm -hmm. her, she's got um, the gown, the Prada gown. It was, it was like sparkly and it's, it's like black and green. It was really yeah. interesting. <laughs> and I like the hair too. The hair brought it back to the 60s. And okay. I thought it was just so Zoe Deschanel. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about the worst. Your top three worst dressed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number one on my list, Sarah <laughs> Michelle Geller. Oh. Girl, what were you thinking? Seriously. Did you see what she was wearing? Yes, I did. And I heard that I think her daughter chose that dress. It looked like tie-dyed bed sheets. I just oh, want to go no. up and oh, girl. What, what about Leah Michelle? I thought she was kind of bad. <laughs> That's a mixed one. A lot of people is like, a lot of people are thinking, is she marvelous in Marquesa or monstrous? I think she's monstrous. <laughs> Leah Michelle, Leah Michelle looks like Liza Minnelli in a bad oh, way. Oh my like god! A 40-year-old version of yeah. Liza Minnelli. It was bad. <laughs> totally agree with you on that one. And how about number three worst dressed? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kat, between you and I, I really think I'm gonna be put in the witness protection program for saying this. <laughs> Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Her Versace dress was not working it for me. I know, and everybody was talking about how beautiful she looked. I thought she looked a little washed out. It's weird. It was a little too white and red. Like yeah. she's got a red purse, 
shoes and she's got red lips and the oh, carpet the car- was red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all I can say is Brad Pitt's cane had more swag. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. I love hearing your insights on fashion. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much, guys. Make sure to tweet me yes. at XIXIYANG. And that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for spending your afternoon with me. Check us out on YouTube, youtube.com slash TV, and we will see you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>